Welcome to another lab session. I'm Abir from SkillCurve. This is a solution diagram which is showing all the AWS components we will be using to complete the project of AWS Athena. Step 1. We will be creating two S3 buckets to store our raw data and the results. Step 2. We will create an AWS glue crawler which will fetch the data from S3 bucket to create a database with tables. Step 3. AWS Glue Crawler will automatically populate our data into AWS Glue Data Catalog. Step 4. In Athena, we will be able to see our tables from where we can run our queries and the results will be stored into S3 result bucket. Step 5. In the end, we will visualize our data with QuickSight. Let's implement this together. What you see here is an AWS Management Console where I will be creating an S3 bucket. Go ahead and type S3 on the search bar and click it. We need to create two buckets here, one where we store our raw data and the other where the results are being stored. So let's create a raw data bucket. Here we'll name it as Skill Curve Raw Data. And then we leave the default settings as is and click on create bucket. Next, we are going to create the result bucket. We'll name it as skill curve result data. We will leave the default settings as is and click on create bucket. After we have created both the buckets, now we will upload some JSON data into our data bucket. In this project, our data set is about cars and the details of the customers owning these cars. So we have two files here. We will create two separate folders for that. The reason for that is that if you store both the files in the same bucket, there will be an issue with Athena because when you query those tables in Athena, you get zero records. So to solve this issue, we need to create two folders into AWS raw data bucket and store the JSON files separately. So let's go on and create those folders. Click on create folder and name it as cars. Now click on create folder. We will make another folder. So create a folder and name it as customers. Click on create folder. So after creating the folders, we upload our data. We upload card.json to cars folder and customers.json to customers folder. It has been now uploaded. I'm just going to open up the JSON file and show you what's inside. Click on open. And you can see that we have the car ID, car make, car year model and the country. So go on and click on the raw data. Click on customers and upload the customers.json. Click on upload. Upload has been succeeded. I'm just gonna open up and show you what's inside the JSON file. So I'm gonna click on open. And here we can see the customer ID, the full name, email, uh, the gender, and also the car ID. I'm gonna close these buckets. Next, we have to go to Athena console. So type in Athena. And this is how it looks. So now we're gonna go on and create our query editor. And before we run our first query, we need to define the query result location in S3. The reason why we created an S3 bucket for result, any queries we created are running the results and are going to dump into this bucket. Click on view settings and then click on manage. 
and browse the S3 bucket. From here, we'll select the results data and then choose it and then click on save. Next, we have to connect our data source. So we go on to these three lines here and select data sources. Click on connect data source. Here in the data source section, we are going to select S3 AWS Glue Data Catalog because it is the automated way to populate our data. Now scroll down and select to create a crawler in AWS Glue. A new tab will be open where we will have to name our crawler. Here I'm naming it as Skill Curve Athena. Now click on next. We don't have to change any settings here, so we click on next. We will choose our data store S3 because we have made our data buckets there. Next, include the path. Click on the little folder here and from here select the raw data because our data is stored in S3 and we want that we can see these files in Athena as schemas. Click on next. We don't need to add another data source, so we select no and click on next. Now we need to create an IAM role for this project, which is the AWS Glue service role that we are naming as Lavathena. This will be attached to AWS managed policy and that allows us to read and access to S3 bucket. So we go on and click on next. Here our frequency will be run on demand because we can frequently update our data regularly but you can also select other schedules like hourly, daily or others but keep in mind that you will have to pay for the cost accordingly. So uh, go on and click on next. Here we are going to create a new database and name it as car customer data. Click on and and now click on next. Now here is just a summary of selection that we have made. Click on finish and wait for a few seconds until it opens the crawler console. Here now you can simply click on run it now. You need to wait for a few seconds until it says stop and then ready. Now that our crawler is ready, we can see that two tables has been created. So let's go back to Athena and check it out. Click on the query editor, refresh the page and you will be able to see two new tables created on the database that we have created with the crawler. Click on the three dots you see besides the car and select the option of preview table. Here you will be able to see first 10 rows of your data because by default query limit is 10. You can run some queries and view your data accordingly. Here, I want to view the data where the car model year is greater than or equal to 2000. So I type in this and click on run. You will be able to view your results below. We can see that all the results with car model year greater or equal to 2000 are displaying. You can also view your customer data as well in the same way and run some queries on it. But let's move on and create some visuals on QuickSight. Search QuickSight on the search bar and click it. If you haven't created a QuickSight, then follow the steps and sign up. After creating the account, this is how the QuickSight looks like. Now we need to do one more important thing. You have to click onto the manage quick site. From here, go onto the security and permission sections and select manage. Check box the S3 bucket and select the S3 buckets that we have created in this project. We also need to check box the permissions for Athena workgroup and then click on finish. Now click on save. Go back to the quick site. Now we need to create a new analysis. 
Select the new data set and from there select Athena. You need to create a new Athena data source with a data source name. Here I'll name it as Skill Curb Athena Visuals. Click on Create Data Source. Next you select your table that you previously created on Athena, which is Car Customer Data and select the Car as Table. Next you need to select Directly Query your data and then select Edit Preview Data. Here you will be able to see your car data set if you scroll down. You can click on add data on the top right corner and add another data source. Select the same database as earlier and select customers for the table. We can see customers data source has been added. Now to return the matching values from two tables we need to select inner and then in the join clause we need to define the common IDs which is the car ID in our project for both the tables. So we will be able to see customers detail with the same car IDs. Click apply and now you will be able to see your data below. You can see the car IDs are matched with each car ID with customers table and we are able to see customer details. Click on Publish and Visualize so that we can start visualizing our data with the help of charts and graphs. Now you can just drag and drop your fields in the box and the graph will automatically be made. Here I'm going to pick a car make and drop it here. Here we can see the count of records by car make. Like for example, Toyota has 6 car makes in our data set. Now click on add here to add more visuals to this dashboard and now drag car models and car make to this box here and select the pie chart from below. We can see that this shows the count of records by car model and it's showing the top 20 in car model. Let's add another data visual. Add in car make, car model here, and then click on pivot table. This will give us the count of records by car make and car model here. Let's add another visual here. We can drag and drop the country here and select the map from down below. If we focus on the map and hover over the country, we will be able to see the number of car model made here. This map is giving us the number of car model by country, so we change the title accordingly. Now let's go and share this dashboard in a proper format. So click on share here and name it as car visuals. And then click on publish dashboard. Finally, our dashboard has been created for this project. You can share, publish or save it as PDF too by clicking it on the share button. This completes our lab. I hope this video was valuable for you in understanding some basics of Athena implementation on the AWS cloud platform. Please feel free to leave a comment below and if you have any question about this project. Thanks for watching.